you don't need to be a pro regarding construction hacks and everyday life tips. You just need to be a little more intelligent, and you can do it yourself. Here are some tips and hacks that will work well for you. Number 1. To make a hole in a tile, the contour of a circle is sketched, and then the tile is scored diagonally using an angle grinder. Next, a piece of curved wood flooring is cut to fit using a black duct tape template, sliced with a box cutter. Number 2. A floor layer will make a hard cut around a door jamb by tracing it using sticks, resembling skewers placed into a piece of cardboard. Number 3. Holes are drilled in the lid of a 5-gallon bucket of floor glue to ensure optimal dispersion and rollout of the adhesive. Number 4. A vacuum pavement lifter equipped with a telescoping arm should be used to move large concrete slabs. Number 5. The perfect circle for a tile to be cut with an angle grinder can be created by rotating a 2x4 with a pencil, connected to it like a compass to produce the circle. Number 6. To fill in deep crevices in a stone wall with grout, the grout is poured into a specially constructed constriction that is then coupled to a compressor. Number 7. A ruler that has been tilted to a 90 degree angle, and then turned in the counterclockwise direction against two screws, is used to make a perfect circle. Number 8. A quickie scribe is used by a builder of pool decks to transcribe a marking line around curved pool coping accurately and precisely. Number 9. Wet plaster is placed over a false brick template when creating a faux look. Various sponges and tools are utilized to get the desired effect. When shipping out old carpet, incisions are cut into it, then folded in on itself to make a handle for convenient portability. Number 10. Using a multi-tool, you can cut a tile trowel to create a precise notch in a thin set for tile spaces. Number 11. When measuring a door hinge, an adjustable template is utilized. Once the door hinge has been calculated, the template is suctioned into place, and mortises are cut out. Next, a hole saw drill bit is attached, and a dust catch bag has adhered to the wall. Number 12. A fence with chain link. The tape used for secrecy is fed quickly through each link, and after that, it is wrapped and secured with a staple gun. Number 13. To precisely ride and trace the shape of a wavy wall cut, a marker is attached to a tool that resembles a tracing tool and employs a wheel. Number 14. Initially, a circular cut was outlined with a bucket. Then an angle grinder was used to finish making the bespoke putty knife. Number 15. To guarantee that a snug fit is achieved, the end piece of a baseboard is trimmed at a 45 degree angle and then flipped. Number 16. To create the appearance of faux stucco on a wall, a plaster mixture with a black tint is applied, and then the surface is textured using a sponge. Number 17. By making a series of diagonal cuts with a skill saw, a section of wood flooring can be removed without causing any damage. Number 18. After being broken open, this chemical anchor has a rapid reaction to oxygen and hydrogen during the first five minutes. Number 19. To prevent the drill bit from heating up, you can use a piece of pipe and some water. Number 20. Using this magnetic wire pulling device, you will have an easier time inserting wire in tight spaces. Number 21. The bullet leader is made to be very small so that it may fit through tight spaces. Number 22. When cutting an angle into a piece of hardwood board, one of the most useful tools is a square ruler. Number 23. When cutting huge tiles, you should first make a frame of the area using slats and then use the frame as a guide to shape the material. When the material has been formed, 
putting it in place will be a lot simpler. Number 24. When repairing drywall that has been damaged, cut the hole in the shape of a square. After that, you should lay the repair and secure it with a drywall repair clip on either side. Putty is all that is required to cover it up and leave it in pristine condition. Number 25. Repairing bowed studs on a wall that is not constructed. You can also tack a scrap block on the side. Number 26. When you drill into a wall, a lot of dust and debris is produced. To remedy the situation, put a bag in the spot where you intend to drill. It is considerably simpler to clean up afterward because all of the dust is contained within it. Number 27. Because tiles are made of a delicate material, you need to use extreme caution when cutting them. First, a tile cutter will be used to indicate the cut, and then a stiff wire will be used to complete the task. Number 28. Because fiberglass is a material that is both thick and fibrous, it can be challenging to cut. The task will be simplified if the material to be worked with is compressed against the wooden board. Number 29. Tiles that have the appearance and color of bricks might be referred to as brick slips. A handful of ropes are helpful in maintaining the space between the tiles as they are being installed. They are put to provide the appearance of actual bricks wall. Number 30. Shotcrete is a method of depositing concrete projected at high velocity. It's primarily onto a vertical or above surface. A mixture of aggregate and Portland cement is what is known as shotcrete. This mixture is then transported by compressed air to the nozzle of a spray gun, where water is then added. After that, the wet mixture is sprayed in position, and nearly immediately after that, it can be sculpted or troweled. Number 31. With the assistance of the Point Master Mortar Pointing Gun, you can properly and effortlessly apply cement and lime mortar for flooring. This is a pretty rapid method of pointing with ordinary mortar. The adjustable nozzle made of stainless steel and designed specifically for pointing on the Point Master, gives users access to a wider variety of mix options. The first pass is sufficient for entirely filling the mortar joints, which saves time, money, and labor. Do you have any information about more hacks? Tell us in the comment section. Also, let me know about your favorite part of the video in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and hit subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching.